Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall YouTube channel. Oh, what the hell are you doing in here? Gone shifter. <laughs> that was the best strategy. First. Second. Third. Yeah. <laughs> That is sick. James is installing the radiator over there in the door. Right now we are just getting started. We're about to open up a bunch of boxes. We got a ton of parts in, uh, stuff to build our turbo manifold, a bunch of other crap just for uh, putting this thing together. So got to show you all the Haltech stuff and all that. We're getting after it today. I think the radiator in the door yep. is going to be hilarious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> See, so. Coop, you can only drive with the door open. Yep. Well, nice you're doing on the driver's side too. Yeah. High pressure. All the engine heat's yeah. gonna be on that side, so you almost separate yep. the two. Yeah. And all the exhaust over there. Okay. We'll put a, a head shield from when the cap blows. Yeah, we're gonna, the yeah it's perfect. Yeah. Right behind my head. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> all right, let's open up these boxes and uh, let's get going. I say you open this one up first. This is a good one. Okay, oh. So I got some flanges for the wastegate that we already had. Use those. Got these from our stuff over buddy here. Jay at Real Street. Uh, Herba. It's gonna be so funny seeing this thing with like racing stickers on the back. <laughs> Aww. It's so cute. Not that bad. Yeah, it's a pretty big <laughs> turbo. <huh? laughs> you wanna put that 88 on that we have sitting over there? No. <laughs> Boy. Not at all. <laughs> Might be a little laggy. We ended up having to get the smaller, the 81 back housing because of the V-Van, but it's all right, it's gonna spool fast. If it doesn't make 600 horsepower, you know, that's not a big deal. We just need it to spool quick. Look at how small that back is. That's, it's gonna be perfect for this. This is a really nice turbo. You think that's gonna be big enough? I mean, this is probably make like four something. Four something? <clears throat> yeah. Damn. If, if, if it's too much back pressure, like, you know, we'll up it up. <laughs> worst comes to worst, we just order the 96 yeah. back housing and swap it out. You know, so I think we're, with, with a burnout car, we're more worried about yeah. low end torque. So with rotaries, if you build boost on the low end, they make torque. Yeah. So I think that will, it should work out fine where it will build low end boost and, yeah. and make low end power just to keep doing burnout. Exactly, yeah. When they said they only had the smaller one or a really big one, I was yeah. like, yeah, let's go the smaller one so we can get the torque out of this thing that we're going to need. Yeah. I think when we go drag racing, it's Bigger hot side. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is a nice turbo though. Oh yeah. It's a nice looking turbo. <laughs> it's getting rowdy out here. Alright, this is just a small portion of all the parts we have. Let's open up the Haltech box. Right, There's some good stuff in there. Have any real cutters, so. Yeah, it's our first Haltech experience, you know. The tape. What do you give the tape review there? I am impressed by the tape. <laughs> Pretty good tape, Haltech. Yeah. A lot of fancy stuff. Ooh, who's taking this project? That's Me. a fun one right there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This is the ECU itself. Yep, Elite right 1000. Here. Needs to be ripped open right there. Yeah. Just show them all the ECU-ness. Yeah, dude. What do you got there? The uh, King Gauge. Okay. Yeah, yeah so this that's our... shows everything pretty much. The computer sees you can put it to see here. Okay, cool. So you just gotta use that yeah, as you your gauge that, for so everything. Really nice, like really nice setup. So yeah, that will read the, uh, you can put it to uh, boost, Y-band, uh, temperature, you want, pressure, yeah. anything you want under. It's like the Holly screen. Yeah, it's like a little Holly screen. Hell yeah, dude. This is pretty compact right here. So, it's got the waterproof connectors, all that stuff. Yeah. Is that your uh, map sensor right there? Yep. So it comes with a built-in one, or you can do external. This is a uh, that's it'll probably do up to 32 pounds. Oh, perfect. So yeah. is this the one we're gonna use? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Unless you guys like started going like traveling like to the mountains and stuff like that, we will have to put an external one and use this as a barometric. Yeah, yep, okay. That's the so, same thing with our other ones. So yeah. alright, well hell yeah, that's gonna work perfect. Yeah, and then uh, coils. Coils, yep. And Damn, these are like temp testers. These are legit coils, right? Yeah. 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 Like, oh I, I know. These are legit. These I I know you can make on an LS like three thousand horsepower with these, so, so Coop, looks like you're gonna be making three thousand horsepower. Done deal. Not with a little hot side. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, like yeah. air and water. We could have used the, the factory ones, but they're slow response. These are high response ones. Okay, cool. Sweet. This is all really nice stuff, man. I'm excited. Thank you. The van is getting the best of the best, yeah. man. This is legit. It has Dip nicer parts than all of my other cars. <laughs> Dipping into the rotaries, but doing it 
right doing it right. Well, so. the thing is, like, we're building it really nicely, so when you guys flip and you can't use it anymore, we can put all this into a side by side, probably. Oh, side by side. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah, side by side. <laughs> so then we got a bunch of boxes here from Summit Racing, too. This has some pipes in it that we're going to be using for the exhaust manifold. Then we have a fuel cell for 10 gallons of E90. And then we have a water pump. So we really got a lot of good stuff here. I gotta use one box for for this little oh, guy no here. I got the 90. I ordered six 90s. We got one by itself. Oil the cooler. Tiny in the picture. Uh, it wasn't tiny though. And then uh, we went ahead and got our, oh, what is this? $100 wine voucher. Huh. Yeah, Oops. Getting <laughs> some wine, I guess. Here's the fuel cell. Oh yeah, black fuel cell. It's got a yeah, fuel level fine. sensor in yeah, it. So is, that, is that big enough, you think? Yeah, it'll be big enough. Perfect. We just have nice to run hand. a thermostat before the, it goes into heat. Okay. That's a nice... Uh, Oil yeah, filler. it's compact and everything. It's the same brand as the, the tranny yeah. one. So we're using uh, Ruby's old transmission cooler for the tranny, and then we got another fluid cooler for the uh, oil. Yeah. All right, we got all this stuff. Shout out to uh, Real Street, Summit Racing. You know, they're shipping, they're overnight shipping, always on point. And Haltech hooking it up, so it's gonna be awesome. Guys, check this out too. I haven't been able to preview this. We just got an HTP TIG welder too, so. The Booster Boys ran these when they came up for Build Wars. So we hit up HTP and we got one for ourselves. Works pretty well. We're gonna be taking today to get that manifold put together. You know, that's gonna work out perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. We can just turn it up and then come out of here to the top. Hell yeah. All right, so you bought some stuff. I bought some stuff. Oh, somebody did. We did. Yeah. We're both we're both guilty on this one. All right, so let's talk about what we got here. Water lines. Water lines. Fuel lines. A lot of fuel lines. Fuel lines. He crushed my air filter. Oh, my bad, dude. Yeah. He's good looking still. Yeah, okay. Air filter for the turbo. A lot of fuel fittings. <laughs> if anybody fuel knows fittings. anything about fuel fittings, you know. Yeah. Oh, more, more, more lines. Yeah. Turbo drain. So, as you remember, all the OEM stuff, the motor and everything, was serviceable via seats. And that was all retained. Yep. If you need to do anything on your on your motor here, you can do your plugs like this. Yeah, look, you take your Talking about easy. trans fluid right here. You got yeah. your seat. While you're driving, you can get to this side of the motor over here in the back of it. I mean, there's really not much you can't reach because this yeah, doesn't cover much. Yeah, if you're driving out in the cold, you just pop the seat up, you get all the heat from the engine up in the cab. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's like a heater. Wow, this is really advanced stuff here. Shifters in. Oh man. Feel like a real race car driver now. Yeah. Well, you can get to your uh, training stuff. Change your oil filter. Stuff. Look, we don't yeah, have to use a relocation kit. We just put it right oh, there. Oh yeah, we'll just put it right there. It's easy. So, if in your case, if you have bad injectors, look, you can do it right there. Hey, listen, it's a sore subject. Fuel cells, the next thing, right? Fuel cells next. It's right here. Wides down. Yeah, you got a big one enough to drive all the way to California. Yeah, I'm trying to road trip this thing. Yeah, we solve mysteries all tank, across the country. Ten gallon? No. I think it was a 10 gallon. It was supposed to be a 10 gallon, but that ain't no 10 gallon. Why, yeah, the turbo is going to be like right there too visible. Yep, right here so you can put your hand in the turbo when you're driving. Perfect. We... Alright, we were worried about how close the uh, transmission pan is to the ground. Wow, it looks really close in the video. But I promise it's not as close as it looks. It's got plenty of room. The oil pan's semi-close too, but still plenty of room. We can't really lower it any. This thing can't be any taller than it already is. Put some 22s on it, don't give you one. Yeah, not gonna happen. Put some 22s on there. It's it already gonna roll. roll. <laughs> it's gonna roll. I don't need it to be taller. Show them you're welding up the radiator bungs. Yeah, just putting the and fittings on there, making yeah. it real nice and yeah, fancy. Yeah, putting expensive fittings on uh, somewhat 
We don't know what radiator this is, but... The not true cool. So it's a nice radiator now, look. Yeah, look, it's AN fittings I on mean, there. I you see it has JB Weld. Yeah, it looks like somebody JB Weld <laughs> did at some point. Yeah, so we're putting the AM bunks for the water lines. Nice. This one's easy. This yeah, this is a little not bigger so really, one. Like, this one just falls through, so I have to just uh, hammer this till it's almost close to it, and then just weld it, fill it in. Fill her up. Tight fit. Makes best welds. The reason we're doing AN lines is because on my burnout, the coolant lines blew and caused the car to shut off and fail. So we're gonna do AN lines so we never had have a coolant line blow out on the car. It's gonna stay cool, do burnout for a while. What's going on guys? I just rolled out of the shop, so I left the camera with the guys. They are cranking away on the mystery machine right now. Turn I'm left in, onto Bachman Road. Right now I am over in Orlando to pick up a used well new to us trailer that i found for a really good deal i've been trying to buy a trailer that can hold multiple cars for quite a while now guys i know this seems like a super random portion of this video but it's important because you guys are probably wondering how we were getting all of our new burnout cars to cletus and cars which we have our first one of the year in houston february 15th exactly one month from now you can buy our tickets online now in the description below but this is our solution to get all of our cars. Well, at least three extra cars to Houston with us. And this guy was selling one, it's a 2020. It's barely used and it's for a, a really good deal. So hopefully it's as nice as the guy described it and the pictures looked and it's actually brand new like he said. All right, there it is. 50 feet of fury. It's a little dusty because it's sitting in a storage lot does have the heavy duty mesh floors. It's got a 9,000 pound winch. It's got the LED light package. It's missing the ramps. They probably got the ramps with them so they didn't get stolen out here, but it's pretty nice. Other than the fact that these coating they put on it seems to wear really fast. I've seen a ton of trailers from this same brand. They just, coating comes right off. All right, so we can tell we got the original tires. They look brand new. He said he just made two trips to North Carolina and back. It's all look good, it's all look good. Everything looks fine on this thing. See, there's the winch, nice steel cable. That's all you got. Oh, okay. Okay, off, thank you. Off, off on. on, okay. Sweet, it's works. Battery is new. Battery's new, yeah, I mean, everything's brand new. The title says 2020 on this thing, so I mean it's literally brand new. Comes with straps, comes with a jack, gloves even, and a measuring tape. Damn, guys, I, I think uh, I think we got ourselves a trailer here. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Might as well walk up. Oh, we gotta get the ramps. Dude, everything looks great on this thing. It looks freaking mint. We're getting ourselves a trailer, boys. All right, folks. There you have it. So the only concern here is if you if you buy a mega cab, you have to note that you have a six foot bed, right? So normally a dually's got a longer bed. So I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but it looks like this trailer can get into the corner of my cab. They make a gooseneck extender. I don't really want to run one of those, but I have to be very careful on my drive home that I don't hit the cab. And I'm about to turn out of here and see if it actually does. But for the most part, anyways, this trailer is gonna be pulled by JH to Houston and whatnot. So he has a long bed, but I don't. So I gotta be I gotta be cautious of that just for this drive home. But the wedge trailer is hooked up. Looking at the lights, LEDs are all blinking. This is a good deal. So we're gonna get some extension ramps made, but other than that, thing is pretty sweet oh and the ramps are on the way so they're bringing the ramps hell yeah the goal is to get home without smashing the corner of the cab though because it looks like it's possible all right guys so the time has finally come to build a manifold Are you gonna let me touch those yeah I'll let you so guys me. john made the collector and yeah. i'm about to it I'm looks up. good it looks good from the inside yeah. The outside I messed up a little bit. I mean, bit it's right no here. McFarlane fab, but I'll take it. So, I'm about to do some taking today with our new HTP welder. So, how'd you like that thing? Sick. You like it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to use. Oh, yeah. So, obviously, I'm not that good at taking, but 
Luckily, this making is, like, is more of my specialty. Well, this is really thick piping, so it's really easy to like, actually weld. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Well, don't say that, bro. I don't want them to think it's easy. Okay, it's really hard to weld. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you heard that, guys? Really tough welding job today for me, but uh, I think I can handle it for these guys. So this is where we're gonna put it up there, yeah. like oh, that. Yeah. That'll work. Manual. Rear facing. <laughs> That's how we're doing it? Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna weld it to here or to here. Let me tack them. Sure. Tack them and we'll go from there. Yeah. See how much easier it's because of the uh, thicker piping? Yeah. It really doesn't need much, wow. that's much like, filler to it. Well, out here it's gonna need it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that, but that's, yeah, that'll work, right? Yeah, that's really good. Too hot or too? Uh, too hot. That means you're staying there for too long. All right, slow it down, smidge. All right, we're in business with that, dude. Our own stabbing it away. Dude, over here pulsing. How do you like the pulse mod? Dude? I actually really like it. Let me let me hear it. That's a uh, that's ten out of ten right there. Man. Really? Ten out of ten. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this guy's too nice, bro. <laughs> nice All right, guy. so I'm doing this whole one, and then he's doing the next, and we're gonna. We're gonna compare. See Whichever which one, one falls off first. Exactly. <laughs> Damn, we got Vic in the house. Brought some injectors. What do you think? What do you think? These are, these are looking pretty good, man. Oh man! Right here, we're not gonna. Right here, Don't, oh, bro. That yeah. one. That yeah, we're not. That one. We're gonna ignore those. <laughs> I had this hole, and I had to just heat the hell oh, out of it. Look at that, man. Yeah, That's those? an upgrade. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, I didn't use a lot of filler rods. It's you know, yeah, you're not supposed to. Use you know too what much. that means? Okay. You're gonna have to start charging now. Yeah. Bro, I've been charging. Yeah, no more free welds. No Vic, more. you need me to come weld on some GTRs? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks good. It's good work. Hey, bro, make problem. All right, so John's going to do the entire other one. And we're, we're going to compare. compare. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he's going to probably destroy it. I'm not sure that he's going to do that. I don't know, man. This is, I don't think but he's going to do high like, standards right here. I'm just telling you, this is like an interview. The bar has been raised. I mean, I, you might get honest, McFarlane and Fab hired. That, this looks like I will, if I would have welded it. So Yeah, this is $30 an hour welds. So. Yeah. 30 an hour. <laughs> Woo! Hey, listen, if you do good, we might get you a McFarlane Fab t shirt and an official contract. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna pour my heart into it. <laughs> Coop, what do you think about all this? Fabricating? Well, well I mean, just, just, so just this whole situation. Oh, it's you gonna be rowdy. These? I can't wait to hear it start. Look at these. Yeah, I, I watch these. <laughs> okay. like I thought you did. I thought this was you up here testing it out. <laughs> Damn, dude. Let me see. Fresh. All right, ready to haul this thing to Houston? Dude, this thing is a rig. So we gotta decide how we're gonna set up these uh, things up here for, you know, people put tires and stuff underneath. 9,000 bucks, all said and done. So guys, down here, we're gonna put in some beams you i guess you could call them for our pit bikes to sit on and then back here we're gonna put cross beams to have uh tires put in there and then back there we can do whatever you can kind of just put a bunch of stuff under here you can put a toolbox whatever you you feel necessary and then up here we're gonna have some ramps built off the front just some three foot extensions and then some three foot extensions off the back i think your truck can handle all this i think the d-max has got it all this freedom Burnout, three burnout vehicles and yeah side by sides and, and chad in the truck that's a lot of weight <laughs> also guys i forgot to film an outro for this video so thanks for watching do it for dale we will freaking see you later